Other interesting business news, you have BMW to end a name after 50 years. Now, this comes to us again, thanks to thedrive.com. Now, specifically, this writer is uh, Nico Demetia. And they note that, quote, BMW's latest naming change ends 50 years of tradition. Future Beamers will only carry the I in their name if it's electri electric. Which is also fat, sad to think that the company with the longest used marketing mantra for automotive community, BMW, they, I forget the agency that came up with the actual brilliant mantra, but they are known as the ultimate driving machine. Which traditionally you think enthusiasts, people who love vehicles, having a stick shift. And now you have someone at BMW who says stick shifts aren't good because they don't get good with fuel economy. That's the guy in charge of their sports brand, like the M series. I don't know how he's gotten fired or has he, has he not gotten fired because of his ineptitudes and just utterly not knowing what the clients want. Now, in terms of the rebranding for the actual I, I am not too surprised since, again, they've had that for quite some time. And I mean, it, interestingly enough, it was for, you know, direct injection. Now, let's hear, actually, we'll just read what Nick had to say. He says, quote, oh, let's see here. Last year, rumors began to swirl about BMW changing its naming structure to be less confusing with its incoming fleet of electric vehicles. One of the changes teased was a drop of the I at the end of internal combustion engine, changing name. So instead of BMW 330i, you just have BMW 330. Now we know the rumors are true as the Bavarians have officially confirmed that the I is no more. Quote, historically, even through our interpretation of BMW, I was always different if it's more innovative, not necessarily only electric. We historically had injection at the end of the badge, and we said we will keep it, we will keep the eyes an asset, and we will keep it as a signature in getting your driving an electric car, and that's the logic we had. That's from Bernard Korber, BMW's senior VP of brand management. Which I don't I mean, of all the companies that do brand management, I can't believe he still has a job. I mean, uh, personally, I've never been a fan of having just numbers and you know, simple numbers instead of the car model name. I think the theory is you build brand affiliation, that way you love BMW, not specifically a specific model, which historically car companies do kill most of their car models and SUV models throughout the years as sales increase and dip over time. And yeah, at the time, there was a time where fuel injection was the latest and greatest technology. And it would make sense for them to put that on a vehicle because, you know, that was the latest grace. And of course, the I stands for inter, you know, ICE, you know, internal combustion engine, and it stood for injection, as in fuel injection, as opposed to the previous technology, which is carburetors, which now are basically just used for enthusiasts in your lawnmower, if you have a real lawnmower. And now they're going to have it called, like, what is this? They have the EV, they have a little badge, and there's the I-5, which, again, the fact that they're not just going with an E is beyond me. Again, it's electric. Wouldn't that make more sense? I mean, they're claiming that the I has become so synonymous with the brand that they'll, you know, now it's going to be for the ICE engines, or sorry, for the EVs. I almost think this, we'll, we'll see, of course, if this really will be thrown eventually into the business blunder section of the show. But yeah, 50 years of having that brand consistency. I understand that every ICE engine these days is direct ingestion. I, I, I get that. But in terms of why would they just do E? That, to me, that would make more sense and be better branding. And then, again, BMW does a lot of innovation and research development to hydrogen. Then you just add an H on it. That would be, in my opinion, much more logical and straightforward. But, granted, they're not always going to do what's you know, most logical. I'm not too surprised. Let me know. When was the last time you actually bought a BMW? Do you think they make anything worthwhile these days? I mean, they have a couple of good M, -coup M series left, and they still have three pedals for now. Hopefully they get rid of that CEO of the M division so they have a true enthusiast in charge. But as always, let me know in the comments. I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to help me out, giving me additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.